Hey everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, taking advantage of my time with Jeff here as he was out for the Be Better Golf Schools, uh, which was a lot of fun, right? A lot of fun, loved it. It was awesome. This video is all about getting warmed up. Jeff, we've just gotten out of the car, I imagine. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm gonna untuck my shirt because uh, this is That's bothering me. usually how you get out of golf. Yep, okay. so, so, uh, so we just uh, got out of the car and we want to warm up for golf, but you know, we're not professionals. We, we have about five or so, five or eight minutes to actually you know, feel like, okay, now I'm ready to hit balls and hit the course. So, I'm out of the car, first thing I do. First thing? Yeah. Um, okay, I would say, um, again, I like my kind of theory and, and what I try to do is I try to attack the most mobile joints that we have. Yeah. Get those going. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, it's going to create a lot of mobility and, mm -hmm. and, and help you move around a little bit and get you loose. So, you know, and that's the hips and the shoulders. Hips and shoulders, most mobile joints we have. All yeah. right. So, uh, you know, I think I like to do just kind of right off the, right off the bat okay, let's do is it. just, you know, say I'm just getting warmed up, put my bag down, and I kind of get into just like a deep split lunge stance. Oh, okay. Like just super wide. Yeah, yeah. Yep, like the back heel up. Okay. And you know, and sometimes, and you the front foot out a little further, almost like get like, oh, almost yeah, yeah. uncomfortably wide. Do yeah. it uh, sideways for people. Yeah, so it's kind of, I got long legs, so it's a little wider for me. So I just get super wide, and then, you know, I'll do, I'll, I'll kind of stay here for a little bit, or I'll you know, do some split squats. Uh, yeah, really here. feel it here, huh? You kind of reach a little bit, you can kind of bend a little bit, you can kind of twist a little bit, um, but primarily in that split stance, again, what I like, it gets the muscles on the back side of that front leg, kind of wakes them up, and, you know, starts loading them, yeah. starts to get them firing a little bit. If you have your foot too close to you, you, you don't... Actually, yeah, and that's more quad. Yeah. So I like to open it up so it's the back of that front leg, and then obviously you're getting a real good stretch on the front of your back leg, you know, which is huge. The sit flex is a huge one. You, you sat in the car on the way of the, on the way of the course. So, and you probably sit a lot at your job. The desk, you know? yep. So those, the front of those hips get tight. So when we, when we try to you know, start taking swings, and we're trying to get yeah. boom, up and through it with those hips, you're not going to be able to do it if they're tight. You're just going to kind of snap it, snap it around. Okay. Numero two. Number two, I'd probably, you know, again, the shoulders. Yeah. Um, you know, there we kind of got the, the, the hips going. So the shoulders, I just like to, you know, big arm circles. You know, kind of, you know, you won't look too crazy at the range if you implement this here. Yeah. Um, you know, kind of go five, five each direction. Okay. Clockwise, counterclockwise, I kind of mess with my hand too. I kind of, yeah, right. you know, go different Palm directions. Position. Yeah. With the hand, you can kind of turn your neck a little bit as well. As, yeah, uh, looking away or... Okay. Yeah, exactly. And then, you know, kind of, I like to get also wide. Yeah, with those palms yeah. to the side. Yeah, I like to get my thumbs going backwards here. Yeah, you kind of go up, you can kind of go mid, you can go low. And it just kind of hits that shoulder joint from all all those different angles. We got hips, shoulders. shoulders. Another one for the hips. Yeah. You can do if you you know use a club or use your bag or something for balance. Mm -hmm. And then all I try to do is same kind of deal. So it's like big yeah. circles. You can hear the uh, from the hip joint and from the shoulder. You get a little crispy in there. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Feels good. Though. And yeah, then you back go to front. You go front both directions. Yeah, you go five each each direction. You have impeccable balance, so you can do it on one leg. Yeah, so thank you. That's impressive. Golf fitness is maybe doing something well, after all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and then and, you know, and, and again, another thing that I use. Um, you, I mean, if you come to a long drive event, you'll see me do this. I'll grab a club and start swinging lefty. lefty. Yeah. Uh, so before before a lot of right hand swings, you're doing left hand swings, huh? Yeah. Yeah. To, you know, for me, it, it gets me. I swing lefty. It gets my right right handed swing loose. You know, so if that makes any sense. Yeah. So, it's, you know, why yeah. I like it is obviously golfers when we're practicing, when we're when we're you know working on our game, we we control the backswing. So we're always you know we're always looking in the mirror, or our coach is always putting us here, or putting us here in the backswing. So we're right. pretty flexible going that way. Yeah. As a right-handed golfer. Yeah. Right. But then going lefty, going the other way, we don't work on it that much. Yeah. I mean, we're creating a lot of speed coming down. And if we're not flexible enough to really get that full rotation, yeah, that's when left, you get that frozen in impact. That's when your body starts to compensate. We don't want, you know, we want to try to minimize that as much as we can. So that's when, you know, chicken wings, or you kind of fall back, or you kind of spin out. Like your body, that's your body trying to slow down. 
if it doesn't have that, that range of motion. So I like the lefty swings because it gets you focusing on coiling up yep. to the opposite side and creating creating speed the other way. You know, it's like kind of an equal and opposite, which kind of loosens yeah. everything up. So, but then we're doing lefty swings. Fantastic way to see a warm up. You'll see Jeff do that on uh, the long drive tour this year. And uh, that's it. So five simple things, or actually, five. I think only four, maybe. Well, let's count them five out. Five things, including the swing. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So one for your hips split here. Yeah, split split squats, both sides, yeah. obviously. Two arm circles. Arm circles with your palms going all yeah. kinds of Different ways. Different directions. Yeah. Three wide here. Oh, here. yeah. Thumbs back. Thumbs back. Thumbs back. Jeff does, calls it Y's, T's, and M's. M's, yeah. Yep. It's kind of an M. Kind of an M, yeah. And uh, leg circles. Both directions. Both directions. I have noticed that if you do this holding something, you don't look as weird. If you do it like just kind of out in the open, it looks a little weird, but you look like, like doing Tai Chi or something. Nothing wrong with that. No. And uh, then you're doing your lefty swings and you're good to go, right? Yeah, five reps. Five different exercises, five per side, you know. Five, 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 five. That's super easy, yeah. So do five of those each way. Thanks for watching, everybody. Jeff's on Instagram at JD Flag, right? Yep. JD Flag with two G's. Two G's. Which gets uh, complicated, but yeah, remember that. It's written in the description below. Thanks for watching that, guys. If you're interested in the technique that Jeff used to win the 2014 World Long Drive Championship after only working on it for 16 months, Check out Building Your Reactionary Golf Swing. It is available in the link below. It is a multi-part series all about this thing called reactionary golf, which after my search around the country, I found to be the best way to be better at golf. All right, thanks for watching, everybody. The link for that's in the description below. Some really exciting things coming up. See you later. Bye.